Hello, welcome back to another vlog. I can't believe what I did last week. We went against St Mirren 142 and I forgot my SD card and what was the game of the season in terms of how well we played. But we've got just as big a game, if not bigger, today away to Livingston. We we need a draw in Ross County to get beat if we want to win the top six or if we just win with it anyway. If we get beat then we need Hibs to get beat half hearts. And Ross County is up points as well. But here's hoping that we can take care of business ourselves. I mean, we should. If um, our record against Livingston is anything to go by, we're unbeaten in 22 of the last 24 matches. So here's hoping that we can continue that run of form. Also, before we go to the game, I'm going to be doing the kilt walk. I won't be walking, I'll be getting pushed, don't worry. Um, <laughs> we go radio, um, the guys that go radio. Uh, this year, and I'm going to be doing it in aid of Cerebral Palsy Scotland, formerly known as Bobath. So, if you would like to donate, then please do. I'll leave the link in the description. We, we'd we set a, an early target of £200, and I've hit that in the first few hours, so it's going really well. We're going to try and get to 1000 if we can now, guys. So, I, I really need your help on this. If you can donate, please do. The link will be in the description. Uh, please only donate what you can afford. Because I know times are tough financially at the minute, but let's raise some money for the good cause and let's go and see the well. Come on, Molo. Before the game, we had one change for the team that started last week, getting Cano in for Stephen O'Donnell. So I think we'll continue the form. I'm going to go 2 1 Mother. Well, so I think it's going to be 2 1. 1 0 stop, man. I'll do me, I'll do me, I know. We're not going for the win. I don't know if we'll be right or not, but time will tell. We made a stand to do that now, it's okay. I'm well off. It's going right away. First half chance of the game for Mullo. Connor Shields clips it over the defence. And Joe Eccles won the road there. And uh, Stryak comes out, hits it off his own defender. And then Nicky Devlin has to scramble back to get clear. If it was the red, it would have been 1-0 and it would have been the most vulnerable goal this season. Everything head knock, girl, bro! Hibs are beating hearts and ideally we need them and Ross County both to drop points today to get to have six. So, but listen, we just got to take an end job. If we win this game, we're fine. So, let's still focus on our teams, hopefully. And I say that right as we get a well as pass, but we've not started well, but here's hoping that we come good. See if I had a pound for every time a Mullerwell fan shouted to the fucking ball in the neck. I'd be able to buy Mullerwell honestly, but they're right, they're not even playing. Oh, let me in! It's 1 0 in Livingston! We're up against it! We need the players to fucking rise, or we're not finishing anywhere near the top six or anywhere near Europe. 1-0 Levy. Mullerwell's game planned evidently to try and get the wingers under the channel. I mean, it's all tried. And I don't think they've made one successful clip down the line. It just keeps getting it for goal kicks and goings. We, we got a lot of success last week when playing the ball in the deck. We've just went back to the time. This week it's shocking. Shocking. Half time Livingston 1, Mullerwell 0. I mean, it goes to say how bad we were in the first half. When the only player well, the only thing that would like help Motherwell was a goal at Time Castle. Andy Halliday, you go out for Hearts uh, just before half time. So I believe Sean will correct me if I'm wrong. I'll put him back in top six. Put him to the point. I think we're back in top six. Put him to the right point. Um, but I, no good, no good at all. Um, there's been the one chance for the corner, uh, and that was Joe Effort called one by the post, but it was well by, and uh, that's been about it. We need to get the ball done, we need to get playing. Otherwise, we'll be playing the remainder of the season in the bottom six, unless we don't score away. So, at the wee toilet review here, um, as you can see, quite tight. I mean, turning circle in terms of wheelchair. 
suppose I could just reverse back out, but I think it's important that I show these as part of the facilities. Um, we get told there wasn't one initially, <laughs> which I was going to claim them for, but no, we found it. We found the disabled toilet, bit tight, but I we'll go with it. <laughs> Good news, but it's not getting to Tony Mac Arena. It's a tight castle half for the 2 1 up against them, which means we jump back in the sixth. Let's hope we can make it a bit easier than do something. Stephen Kingsley, thank you very much, mate. And as you might have heard, there's Marco Hara. Oh, it's going to be this. Clutter Shields. Ah, it's going to be a bit of 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 a Shields crosses the ball. The first of all, Mini hits it. Chloe saved it. And I think we think Joe Edwards is going to give it. Chloe Shields is going to give it. Beautiful. Oh, go on. Get it up. The ball, so just out the ball this game, our top six hopes are in our hands. Get into this game. But we've took them right out of our own hands and given them in the hands of the other club. We are now sitting here hoping that nothing happens at Pretoria. And the good news is hard to play by not, but we've been on eight start in the second half team, but that, that goal just comes out of nothing. Takes this thing right, it takes the wind out of ourselves, put it up with me. Fuck off. Come on! Come on! Come on! It is 2 1. It's a ball out of the box. Let me have Rina. It falls to Kettle, slatting him at 25 yards. And he rifles it into the back of the net. And straight out is in them. Right, so, as you'll know, uh, that my footage cut off just about, just before uh, we scored the second goal, my camera died, and, and then literally 20 seconds later we go and score an equaliser. Absolute bedlam, I've just seen scenes like that at a game in a while, I think, Pataudry, when we scored in the last minute, they had to clinch second, it's probably the, the closest that I could imagine we could get to it, uh, but no, it's really the experience. And we will start off with the view. The view, um, now I liked the game today. I, I was thinking, I love it, will be alright because you know, the side of the pitch, um, it should be fine. Like, you should be able to see most of the game, but as you've seen in the vlog, there was a steward sitting like, right in front of me and his head was blocking the middle of the penalty area down to my right, so that was a bit annoying. Um, and then obviously it was a bit cold as well with the elements, so viewing the facilities, uh, speaking of facilities, uh, the toilets, well I remember. No, at first we were told there wasn't a disabled toilet, which I was going to say was shocking, but then we found one. And I've never really rated a toilet, like, how do you rate a toilet as a toilet? But um, I suppose what, what, what you do look for in a disabled toilet is plenty of space to turn their wheelchair and uh, be able to move about because it can be a bit harder for people with wheelchairs and it was a bit tight so I don't know if I'm being harsh because as I say, as I say I've never rated a toilet but uh, the view and the facilities at uh, Livingston are only getting a 4 I was expecting uh, to, to be able to rate them higher than that but it is what it is, I've no, no been able to because of the things that I've just mentioned onto the atmosphere 
Um, my Lord fans not happy in the first half, they didn't really so I thought the performance was um, poor in the first half. But then, uh, it's weird right, because if you don't score in the last minute, I don't think that I'm rating the atmosphere as highly as I do, but I, that just changes everything, your whole, your whole, um, the way you remember the game completely flips on, on, on that last minute goal, so I'm going to give the atmosphere an 8 out of 10. I did think, in saying that, that the well boys did sing to the game and, and, and we did take a good forward, so I think an 8 out of 10 is fair uh, for the atmosphere. On to the game now, and um, we get into it, the game is in our hands. Um, we didn't turn up for about 70 minutes. Um, Livingston were by far the better team. They bullied us in midfield, created more chances, uh, get their goals, and they were deservedly 2 0 up at that point. And it was weird, right? Because can it, you look at the way our two goals have came about. I can I kind of feel that the only way that we were going to score was with a world day, which happened with Callum Slattery, and then for a set piece, which, which happened at the end. So uh, we managed to draw the game to each uh, the game in itself because of the way it ended again. It's going to get scored higher than um, what, I, what I was expecting to score it uh, with five minutes to go. I'm going to give the game a 7 out of 10, uh, just for the way it ended, really, uh, in uh, the scenes. But no, um, delighted to be in top six, and we now move on to the referee's performance. I thought he was quite poor. I thought he missed a penalty for the foul on Mark O'Hara. Um, I did think that I said during the game we had one that was over the line, but having looked back on it in sports scene, uh, it was a correct decision. It was um, just on the line, so they got that one right. But then you look at the um, you look at the, the the one that Livingston could have had as well. I think if Nicky Devlin goes down. He gives the referee a decision to make and, and Levy probably got a penalty and we'd, we'd have been 3-0 we'd have been out of the game by that point if they scored that so thankfully never um, but I'm going to give the referee's performance a 3 out of 10 I thought, I thought it was um, quite poor today to be honest I don't know if I'm being harsh you can let me know down in the comments but no we've made it we're in, we're in the top 6 a total of 22 out of 40 for Livingston and, and we're in the top 6 uh, I don't believe it, with a point off a fourth, we goal difference away for Europe if we finish fifth and have don't win the cup. Yeah, I still think with that result today, Alexander said he's bent a wee bit, and I know you might be thinking, Stephen, come on, he's have just secured top six, he's have been in a quarter final, and he could be looking good at playing football next season. But we're also, if we didn't win that today, we could uh, we didn't draw that, it feels like a win. We could have been looking at um, a potential relegation scrap. We're only 10 points ahead of St Johnson. Obviously, they can't catch us now because it's split. But uh, aye, it's, it's not been pretty the whole year. We've won one league game. Uh, and just as you know, my camera cuts out because it doesn't like to see any excitement involving Mullow. Uh, my camera, I don't think, should cut it but probably 20 seconds before we scored the goal. But no, uh, Alexander saved his job with that today. Um, big window for us, I think. In the summer, I think we need a striker, I think we need a proven goal scorer, and obviously we're losing Ricky Lamy and then Mark O'Hara, so they're two players that we need to look to the place, and we need to get the signings right, because particularly in the centre back position, I think they, they were very slow in that area, and so hopefully a centre back with a bit of pace, I mean hopefully Daryl O'Connor can come back and, and get himself into the team, I thought Tierney looked good when he came on, so maybe we'll to see him get a chance in midfield, but not sign a midfielder, a striker, and a defender, and hopefully we'll be looking at a European one next season, but he's only to stay tuned to the channel for the top six running, we'll be going to all the games, and I've got a special guest, or I'm appearing on a special guest channel for one of the games, so keep your eye, your eyes peeled for that, but no, delighted to be in the top six. Well done to the staff and the players and here's hoping that we can push on uh, and get Europe. But uh, listen, before I go, please do go on to the Just Giving for Cerebral Palsy Scotland. We've already reached a primary target of 200. We're going to raise that now and hopefully try to get to 1,000 quid. If we can do that, then that will be brilliant. Uh, but let's see. Let's see if we can, if we can manage it. But no, we got the point. There was light drama, I didn't capture it, but I loved it. Come on, Mullow, let's do this in the top six. <laughs> 